Alright. Hello everybody, this is OmniGamer. I just wanted to make a quick video to discuss how to take Dragster gameplay footage and transform it into a Dragster spreadsheet so that you can better analyze it and figure out what the heck is going on with your time. So, uh, the first thing over here is that I'm going to take Darbian's 5.61, his first one, and try and transform that into the spreadsheet so that you can understand how that actually works out. Um, some notes here though, on the spreadsheet, I made some changes to the coloring. Um, this, all these red areas are what you'd actually want to be hitting to get the 557. So ideally you'd hit at the bottom of these, but really any, um, any of the spaces that are red will work just as long as you don't cumulatively have too many that are off. So you'd still want to hit basically the end of uh, most of these. Um, the other thing that probably a little more confusing are these blue areas and these are don't cares so this basically means that you can be hitting zero you can be hitting you can be hitting the gas you cannot be hitting the gas it doesn't matter it will not affect your time um, and that gives you quite a bit of leeway because that means that um, for example in this one you'd want to absolutely be hitting zero um, but uh, you could have zero held before you could have it after for a couple frames, it significantly eases the burden on you to try and get that going. Um, all right, so uh, let's get started then. The very first thing that we want to figure out is what uh, Darbian's starting tachometer value is. And I'm just on YouTube right now, so this is straight in, in Darbian's upload, and you can uh, perfectly see frame by frame what's happening on, on basically each segment. So when we get to the countdown, what we want to watch for is the tachometer. And it will increase three at a time while in clutch or while in neutral. So this is three. Uh, next up, you're going to see six, and then uh, nine, 12, 15, 18. And then on the very next frame is zero. So in between this time, Basically, he's already at 18 uh, on the, the count up, and then on the very first frame, he'll go up the last bit to 21. But this is what we care about. This is 18. So let's enter that into our tachometer value over here. 18, and that's our start. All right, after that, we are looking for shifts. So on 0.0, .0. this is actually kind of before the race even truly gets started, but this is the last frame that you can be holding the clutch on. So on the very next frame, it should be one. And so long as this is a one right afterwards, that means that the, the shift was complete. So put a one right into the spreadsheet. Okay, next up, we are looking for anything related to his second shift. So right up in three four zero is his second shift and how long is that one frame so it's only on the four zero increment all right so we'll pop another one right on point four zero um what we want to look for now though while we're here is did uh he use the accelerator correctly so right here at point three three, watch what happens to the accelerator. So right now it's at this point. Right on point three six, it goes down. And the only way for that to happen is if you let go of the gas on that frame. So on point three six, we're gonna put a zero. And what happens on point four zero? It goes up again. So that means that by this next frame, by the very next frame, he's already holding uh, one again, so it went back up. Um, and then, right after that, you can see it significantly jump up. So the frame after the clutch, it'll always go up or down by three. And in this case it went up by three, so we know that he's holding a one here. So there, we're, we're complete with this uh, shift. Uh, move on to the next one. So his next shifting opportunity comes in at 0.90. And again, 
right the frame before, you can see that the tachometer goes down. So on point 0.86, we know that he is not pressing the gas. On point 0.90, though, we have no idea. Um, if you look over here, this advance column is basically the frame rule. This tells you uh, when it's green, when uh, the tachometer can increase. Since this frame is a zero, it does not matter. So you can hold zero here, you could be pressing the gas, you can be not pressing the gas, it does not matter, it will not affect your time. And that's really important, um, but at least from our perspective, it also means that we can't tell whether or not on this frame he's holding the gas or not. So we'll just assume that he's not. Um, and on the very next frame, so from 0 0.90 to 0.93, we go up by 3 on the tachometer. So again, he's holding 1, the frame after um, this shift. So that's, that's all good. We're correct there. Alright, and now the very next shift. So this is the shift into 4th. Right here. We shouldn't have to worry about letting go of the gas anymore. None of the rest of the entire strategy for this relies on uh, letting go of the gas until the very end, so we can just assume that it's held all the way from here. So from point 0.156 to 1.6, we have one frame on the shift. Yeah, there we go. So on point 0.160, we have the shift into fourth. And now we're into the less interesting parts. So from here on, we basically need to hunt down wherever these follow-on shifts are, and they should all be one frame. If they're more than one frame, you're gonna lose quite a bit of time. So at right at 2.4 is the next one. So we'll drop one right here. Okay, and then after that, coming up pretty quickly at 2.77. And after that, 3.30, again only one frame. Three point six four. Only one frame. And you really want all of these to be one frame. Um, if uh, you do a multiple frame press way at the beginning, one, you're going to get a bad time. Uh, but two, you might also need to make some manual modifications to my spreadsheet because it doesn't uh, properly account for that. You'll just have to make sure that the gear value stays at whatever is appropriate. Um, 3.64, there should be only one or two shifts left in the entire sequence. Here we go, at 9.4, and again, only one frame. 3.94. And from here, we're looking for the final clutch um, being held all the way into the end of the run, and it should happen after 4.5. If you're doing it optimally, it will happen right at 4.54, but... Um, we already know that this is off by a fair bit, so expect it more around here, 4.77. So at 7.7 7 is when he starts to hold it, and then he basically holds it all the way through to the end. Um, and these uh, don't matter so long as basically you're covering um, the, the relevant areas. So um, for Simplicity's sake, I usually just make a zero wherever there's a one over here. Uh, these ones can vary a fair bit too. We're not done yet though. You see at the top, time doesn't quite match up. So 577 is not 561 that we know that he ends up getting. So what's missing here? The thing that hasn't changed is this frame counter value. So this has to be a multiple of two up to 14. Um, and we need to figure that out. The best way to figure that out is to find a period of fourth where 
basically nothing is, is really going on. Um, so let's pick right here on the end, between this last shift and when he basically clutches into the finish. So let's, uh, let's head over to about four on the timer. And what we're looking for is any instance in which the tachometer increases. So right here on 407, and just to be sure, Four thirty-four. So right on four thirty-four, our goal is to get this to be a one. Right now it's up here or down here, however you want to look at it. Um, but four thirty-four is what we need to get it to be. So there's eight possible values for that frame counter. If this is where the frame counter is basically saying that the advance is right now. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more to go. So six times two is twelve. Uh, zero plus twelve is twelve. And look at that. We get five, six, one. And just to be sure, four, three, four is in fact an active frame right then. So this is the exact frame counter that Darbian had. And this otherwise completely matches up with his gameplay. And he got us 96.69, which is um, pretty close. You're, you're basically a third of a uh, distance unit from finishing in a 557, but unfortunately, just with this direct strategy applied, you'd not be able to hit it. Um, that's entirely what these regions are for. But yeah, that is Dragster and how to convert video footage into a spreadsheet for you to, to peruse and understand. And uh, hopefully it was interesting. i making this video so that uh, other people can do it themselves and see where they're ending up and do their own kind of analysis on what the heck's going wrong. Um, yeah, so hopefully this helps out, and uh, good luck to everybody going for the 557. Peace out and don't blow. <laughs>